Welcome back, guys. Getting ready to do a walk around. Just pulled this Impala out over here, popped the hood, started getting to know the car. And I tell you what, I love it. So far, it's so good that uh, I was thinking about it. <laughs> but cold AC, supposed to be a built motor, built 350, and look at, look at this motor. It looks awesome. Aluminum radiator, electric fans, a vintage air. Look at all the upgrades. I think I'm in love. <laughs> but it's nice and clean. What I'm going to do in this video is do a little walk around. This is a 1963 Impala. I'm going to point out any kind of flaws that I can find. After this video, I'll put a link to the test drive video that you can watch. Put my gear in here for the test drive. And we'll be taking it down the road. But first off, if you like my channel, hit subscribe. It helps me out quite a bit. And you can also see every car that I post. Hit that little uh, notification bell. And I'll update you on all the classics. That's what we do up here. You can check our website out, maplemotors.com. Try to get you 100 detailed pictures of every car on there as well. I got financing information and I can ship these cars all over the country. Last but not least, please share my videos. That's what helps me out a lot. Gets our subscribers up and keeps me motivated. Start right up here in the front. So you can see it's very shiny all over this car. Front bumper's been on here a little while. There's a few flaws in it, but for the most part, it's nice. So you can see there's a scratch here. They probably bumped something to the front end. The grill looks awesome on this one. I'm going to be looking for any kind of chips, scratches, paint flaws. Does have aftermarket American racing wheels, upgraded disc brakes. All the trims nice and shiny around the windows. Looking across this window for any kind of chips, scratches. And I'm not seeing any. I'll end up shutting the hood before I end the video as well. Try to give you some undercarriage shots too. That would wipe off. That looks like wax. You know, look at the bottoms of the doors here. There's a bubble in the door right there. Also, some dent down, dents down here in the trim. This car is four wheel disc brakes as well. A few more bubbles in the paint in the back. Back bumper's in good shape. Still got some flaws. Not perfect. Ooh, I see some bubbling coming up behind this bumper here too. You'll definitely want to know about. Dual exhaust out the back with the bow ties. We get a key here in a second, popping the trunk before we go over the interior. Dual antennas. Staggered wheels. There's some bubbles on this side too. In the back. American racing wheels are nice and shiny. Those look fairly new with tires on them, so. Look at the bottom of these doors, make sure ain't any rust or bubbles. There's some up here in the front. Looks like a dent right there in the front here. You see the bubbles? A few 
you uh those are actual that's a chemical reaction that happens when they do the paint job sometimes um trying to make it pop up it almost looks like acne i've seen that before i don't know if you can see it it's in a section right here on the passenger fitter One more shot under the hood, just because I like it so much. I'm gonna grab the keys out of the ignition. We'll go ahead and pop the trunk, see if it's got any leaks, check for rust. And then we'll hit up the interior. I'm gonna leave the door open too, because there's bacon in there. Ooh, a little stiff on the trunk lock. I didn't quite get it turned all the way around. Oh no, did I lock the key in the trunk just now? I don't want to break it. Ah, okay, pause the video. Ended up getting my key back out. I WD-40'd it from the inside out. See, I didn't bend the key or anything to mess it up. It does open, the lock is still stiff. You gotta definitely turn it back. But I lubed it up so we could get into the trunk and check it out. Definitely uh, probably gonna need a trunk pan. This is looking a little little bit like it had some moisture in it. The rest of it's glued down, so getting up under there is gonna be impossible without tearing this trunk all up. I'll just go ahead and say that it needs a trunk pan. Yeah, I can't even pull that up. Let's check all the other necessary spots. Oh, you can't see anything on this back side. We'll check over here. Huge trunk, though. Did have insulation up here. Fell down. Weather stripping's been replaced. And it's actually dry. So they could have uh, replaced the weather stripping and stopped all the water leaking. And that may just be older rust. All right. You know, keep on moving on. We check that out. Looking down in between the bumper, you can see all them bubbles popping up. Trying to go on over here. Same kind of stuff, but I definitely want you to know about it. Head on down the rest of the car here. It's interior time. Then I'm gonna start it up. Listen to this motor. Check everything out. Hey, do you think the horn works? I don't know. I ain't tried it on this one yet. You can take the pole in the top right corner and uh, we'll see the majority of people who thinks it works and that don't. Headliner in this car looks pretty good. Looks like it's got a little bit of a sag in this corner over here and right here. But for the majority of it, it's decent. The seat's not all torn up. Carpet looks like it's fairly new. Door jam, it's not bad. Does have a little bit of sagging going on at the bottom. Leather stripping's been replaced around the door. Checking up under there. Top in here. Hope you took the pole on the horn. We're gonna go ahead and start it up. And I guess I'll get the AC rocking. Starts up nice and easy. No ACs on at the moment. It's got good sound. Oil pressure's coming up. Battery gauge coming up. The water temperature's still low. Motor's still cold. Let's try the fan. Oh, yes. It's blowing hard. Now it's starting to get cold. Slowly getting cold. There it goes. Just gotta rev it up a little bit. We'll try the wipers while we're sitting here. Wipers working. What do you think, horn? It does work. <laughs> Shifter in the floor looks pretty cool. Do have an aftermarket radio. It's showing, uh, it's actually showing 2,900 miles, can't stand behind that. You've seen the motor. 
Gas gauge is a little below half a tank. No lights on the dash. Kicker speakers in the floor. So I bet you it sounds good. So does the exhaust. It's clacking. The bracket on this side's vibrating to get something. I heard it when I shut the trunk earlier. shut this hood down see what we're talking about here lines up pretty good not really seeing any defects in it I'm gonna give y'all some undercarriage shots real quick once I get done with this we're gonna take off down the road I want to see how she drives in the cold AC <laughs> All right, let's look under this car. See what brackets rattling up under here. Like I said, getting ready to go for a test drive. If you like this video, please share it. Please hit subscribe and the little notification bell. That'll help you know every time I post a car for sale. If you see something you like on maplemotors.com, you can look, research it on, here on YouTube. I definitely post all the cars that I get in inventory on maplemotors.com first, because I want you to go there, pick one out. Throughout the week, I post all the videos. All these cars were posted on Monday, and there's 18 of them. So it has been taking me quite a bit of time to get all these videos done. They're not just thrown together or made immediately. It usually takes me about two hours of video to put, put these things together. So if you can get shipping information from my website as well as financing. And the test drive video is coming soon. Be ready for that. You can wait to the end of this video, bottom right corner, and click right on it, or just type in 1963 Impala Maple Motors in the YouTube search bar and get both of these videos. Appreciate y'all watching. Thanks again, guys.